Hello and welcome back to another How to Broke. I think this is the, probably the last uh, part, this is part six of the Jogger series I'm doing. Um, if you haven't uh, watched the other ones then I'll leave a link in the description. This is basically, I bought this car, it's a um, 2002 Jogger, one litre, three cylinder, 109 brake horsepower vehicle, okay? Uh, and I love it, uh, and I love it. But I, I want to address a few things that you might find, if you're thinking about one, buying one of these, then just listen listen, and uh, you know, compare things to what you, uh, other choices that you may have made. Now, in my first video, I talked about the, my leg resting on this corner here. Now, I don't know if you can see this camera person, this corner here, not, uh, I've got a Renault Scenic as well, and the, on the Renault Scenic, the corner is, is, is round like that, so I can quite happily rest my knee against there. Uh, it does not a problem, but if I do that on the same thing with this, because it's like a right angle, it, it kind of cuts in, it's annoying a bit. So what I did is I bought from, from, a, a, from a, a Chinese uh, vendor, I bought this little pad, it's made of leather, and it sticks on there, it's really comfy, you know, it's, it's, it's perfect. It's a little thing, but if you're driving miles and miles in it every day, then it's something important, isn't it? There's only a few bucks, you know, a few dollars, a few euros or something. Uh, I've just written a few things down here. I'm not in no particular order. I just crossed that one off. Centre console rubber thing. Right. Wasps nests. Now you think, oh, what the... Well, around here you get little... I don't know, it's like every wasp is dif different, aren't they? I mean, it's several... Spe uh, species of wasps, so I'm not a wasp expert. The ones around here like to make little nests, not big ones, like you see in the movies, like, but little ones. They're like about, I don't know, size of a, well, size of a, an orange or a size of a, a lemon or something, or something like that. Lots of those little ones. Now, I have, now, be careful because if you've got one of these out in the country, they might find you've got wasps, and now I found some, I'm not going to show you where they are because I got rid of them, but I found some in the, in the back, in the boot lid, in the back, on the top, on the top hinge there. You know, the top, right at the top where the, 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 the roof meets the, a couple of little ones there, and also in the bonnet, in the bonnet. Oh. Anyway, I got rid of just a wasp this, so just have, just be careful about that. If you've got wasps around your place that like to, um, to make the nests uh, small and uh, hide them, that's where you find them. Um, now I took it in for its first service after a year, I had it about, well, getting off for 18 months now, so first service after, after a year, I was expecting an oil changing filter, right? I, I might be, you know, call me old fashioned, uh, old school, whatever, but I was expecting for the oil, the oil and the filter, oil filter to be changed, but no, all they did was, they changed the cabin pollen filter. That's all they did. I don't know where it is exactly, but that's all they did, right? And um, I've paid for an extended service warranty thing for this. So you've got the ordinary car warranty, but you also pay, you, you can buy a thing that covers uh, windscreen wipers, oil changes, all that business on top. So the first service was a bit of a, a surprise because all I got was a cabin filter. Oh, I think they topped up the, water, the washer bottle, but that's it. So don't expect your um, oil and filter to be changed. Well, I don't know why, maybe they've got, I don't know, some sort of super oil in here, but uh, uh, I'm, ho I'm hoping it'll be all right for the, they're gonna do that on the second year. Yeah. Okay, anyway, so that's, that's that. So I'll cross it off my list. Um, <coughs> right, this car is excellent for bombing around the town. Yeah, you know, doing uh, picking up well, shopping, food shopping, DIY shopping. You can get stuff on the roof, wood, pipes, and whatnot. You can get cement bags in the back, no problem at all. So it's ideal. Now, what I would say is, if you're gonna, if you're a family of four, right? So as you, the other half, and two two children, adult, or whatever, doesn't matter. It's ideal. But if you're going to be yourself, plus the five-a-side football team, plus all their gear, you're going to have a problem, not around town or nothing, but you're going to have a problem going on a motorway 
and um, on like A roads, if you've got plenty of hills and stuff, you want to do overtakes because the car has only got 200 new means of torque. This car, which means that you'll be playing, you'll be stoking the gearbox a lot to try and get it moving, you know. And I, I got a scenic Renault Scenic 3 as well. And that's got 300 new means, and the difference is that that fully loaded with all the gubbins, it, you know, it doesn't make any difference. The torque is is perfect, but this this vehicle, if you got like yourself and five other people like, and and gear and stuff, it, you, you're struggling with a uh, not not struggling, but you, you got you got to make sure you're on the gearbox pretty quick. Whereas if you've got more torque. Then you don't have to change down and change up or whatever to, so so much. So if you got if you got if you're carrying a full load all the time, have a think about getting a jogger, which we've got a more powerful, uh, it has more newton means meters of torque, a bigger bigger engine, in other words. Um, for example, uh, I mean, you show the show them on my motorcycle over there, camera person. But right, that one there, that's a Yamaha R1, okay. That's a thousand cc, same size as this as this car. That produces 150 horsepower. Okay, so it, but so it swings and roundabouts. What you got, what you use the car for, it's up to you. But if it's I say, if it's fully loaded, you got to work the gearbox. Okay, let's just cross that off the list. Uh, right, next um, color. Now this is a silver. This is um extreme plus. No, extreme. Not the not the full one, not the top 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 one, but the one below that. Now I looked at the colours of this, and I thought I like this one because I like I like, I like silver, uh, sort of beige cars kind of thing, and the black it does. Away. The only one that I would I would consider getting now for a, for a general uh, or a family car is the black one. I've seen a black one with a black metallic paint. Oh, it looks great, you know. Looks a uh, looks a bit gangster. So. If I, <laughs> So if you like that look, then uh, it's good. I think uh, it's fantastic. It doesn't look like a hearse or nothing, you know, but it, it, it's, it's nice. So I'll cross that off for this. Right, I've got a couple, one more thing to go. Continental tyres. Now, I don't know what tyres are fitted to your uh, jogger uh, or when you bought it, but mine had Continentals on it. Great tyre, nothing wrong with them. Brilliant. Now, I had to change mine at, you have to work this out in your own money, 11,000... 806 kilometers because it's down to the tread wear indicators now uh, the trouble is that when I got the look, looked at trying to get some more Contis as I like to call them um, I couldn't get one tire what well, would have cost me 140 again you have to put it in your own money 149 euros including balancing and valve and whatnot 149 euros right one I needed two for the front because they were out because it's front wheel drive, and I got two good ones, um, better, uh, higher load rating, higher speed rating for 169. So for extra 20 20 euros, I got two instead of one. So uh, you don't have to put Contis back on it if you don't want to. Uh, if you don't have the budget for Contis, I'm not saying that Contis are bad, but uh, they, you know th there are other other tyres out there that that you can you might want to try. And the tyres I've got on here, in fact, I put on here are four season tyres, and uh, they're good for where I live because there's a lot of uh, um, um, no, not a lot, but you get in the winter time you get like a lot, a lot quite a lot of mud on the road, and it, it might freeze, and it, so it's, it's it's good to have that, but. It's uh, it there we go. That's that's what I've got to say about the tyres. Um, other than that, uh, it's a good car, and as I say, if, if it's one of the best cars I've ever had, I've had M3s, I've had uh, Sierra Cosworths, I've had uh, Mercedes Sports, I've had uh, that was a good car, the Mercedes SLK. Well, that was a great car. Um, I've had um, Mercedes Estates, um, but this is one of the best. The best, the best. Um, why? Because it's, it's good on the petrol. It does everything I want. Maybe because I'm a bit older, I don't like to race the streets so much. But uh, it's great. A family car. I'm I'm getting pushing. Uh, I'm pushing uh, like 66 soon. So uh, I know uh, your sort of values change. You know. Anyway, I've rattled on enough. 
anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and it helps you and make, uh, make gives you some more information about what you want to do and decide to when your next vehicle comes along and you, your old one dies or whatever you want to some, something bigger for a bigger family have a look at a Dacia Jogger go and drive one and before you do have a look at the other uh, videos that I've done about the, the Jogger I'll leave a link in the description and so you've got some idea about what the car can do you know, it's very difficult when you're buying a buy, you get the dealer and then and the salesman sitting right next to you you're not, you're not going to get the full he wants to sell the car you're not going to get the full picture unless you get the actual the, the, you know the nitty-gritty of it the nitty-gritty of this is it's a great car and I, 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 I don't know anything that, uh, that is particularly radically wrong with it the only thing I would say is this electronic handbrake now if you can get one without electronic handbrake you'll be laughing and smiling this is it down here I've got videos on that as well now it's not a big issue right not a big issue but it is I like an ordinary manual pull-up handbrake better yeah, just my preference and uh, I've explained that in other videos so I'll shut up now anyway I've got some uh, let me see I've got uh, cooking uh, let me see that way I got DIYs that way I think I can't remember I got some quick tips down here and, and uh, I'll say goodbye until next time